are keeping an eye on tropical storm Idalia. Here's 7 News meteorologist Malachi Rogers. Uh, Dahlia right now is still in the Caribbean, uh, a storm that's getting a little bit better organized as we speak. It is expected to move into the southern Gulf of Mexico where the water is very warm and conditions are very favorable for this storm to get a lot stronger. Right now it's a tropical storm expected to become a hurricane by later tonight or tomorrow and then a major hurricane as a category three storm with winds over 115 miles an hour by Wednesday morning before making land fall on the west side of Florida. Wednesday into Thursday morning, that center circulation is expected to move along the South Carolina coastline. And at that point, it should bring some rain to the low country in the Midlands of South Carolina. Our forecast models have been in pretty good agreement over the last couple of runs that this is a storm that center stays well uh, away from us, but along the South Carolina coastline. Uh, tropical storm alerts are up. We have uh, hurricane watches along the west coast of Florida. Those expected to become warnings over the next 24 hours. Rainfall for us over the next few days will be scattered showers, not associated with Adalia. That line that you see there, the dark rain moving in Wednesday into Thursday, that's what's related to Adalia. And you'll notice that that is all from Columbia towards the low country and the coastal areas of South Carolina. So as of right now, we are watching the storm as it starts to move into the southern Gulf of Mexico, where it is expected to get stronger. Warnings are up for uh, the state of Florida and, of course, along the South Carolina coast. Caution is advised. That's the very latest on what's going on with the Dahlia.